Well, while Advent is a season of hope and Christmas is a season of joy, not everyone feels hopeful or likes celebrating. Grief, illness, depression, loneliness, unemployment, and loss are magnified. As we gather on this longest night of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, we come to experience a time of solace during this often difficult time that surrounds Christmas. We come together to seek healing. On this darkest night of the year, we come with our honest yearnings, seeking the return of light and hope. And a reading from Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2, 4, and 6. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Anticipate this time of year beginning in summer, actually at the summer solstice on June 21st. We've just begun our glorious days of summer after our brief spring and our long winter. We've just begun our bike rides, our kayaking, our swimming, baseball, soccer, lingering on a patio for lunch with a friend, sitting on our porches till the night bugs shoo us back indoors. So when summer solstice arrives, I become aware now that we turn our faces toward the winter solstice. And you might say this is pessimistic, looking ahead to darkness that isn't even here yet. But this thought doesn't hold me back from enjoying the recreation of summer or the color of autumn. In fact, I don't even really notice the change of light. I move along the rhythm of the sun and the moon as sunrises come later, I instinctively turn on the light as I get ready for the day. Earlier sunsets makes me look forward to seasons of my favorite TV show. The changing of sunlight is natural and necessary. So when December arrives, it might be that is when we are drawn in to the comfort of the night. Covering ourselves in warm blankets, sitting by the fire, Reflecting a bit more, allowing time to notice the day as it passed, savoring these moments. If 
find a renewal as sleep welcomes an hour or more earlier than when the sun dominated our lives. And for many of us, though, the season comes with tenderness. This coming of long nights holds more opportunity to feel, to experience what busyness of sunshine can disguise. Grief readily surfaces, remembering loved ones no longer with us, melancholy for times gone by, never to be again, changed relationships, broken dreams, our health, our livelihood. The quiet from the darkness outside pushes us inside to longing, hoping, wanting, wanting light. Light that brings us out of this vulnerability of the darkness. December, as darkness gets longer, we move along with the season of Advent. In the church, it's the season of waiting. We hear prophets in the Old Testament telling us of this long-awaited Messiah we heard a little bit ago. For a child is born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders. He's named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. We wait for the same Savior, waiting for heaviness to be lifted, for comfort, for peace. Well, I went to the Minnesota Arboretum Christmas light show this year. I live close to the Minnesota Arboretum and watched for years cars back up on Highway 5 waiting to get inside what which was, to me, a mystery. The light that shows breaks into the bleak winter setting, inviting us to enjoy. And I finally did it this year. It, was, it is quite a spectacle. The intensity of the color changes in each display, and as we walk along the path, new exhibits fill the darkness. The air gives way to sound of laughter and merriment, selfies and pictures flash, taken to remember the light. One display is half a block long. The wall of lights change in color and shape along with holiday music. And stopping, we see groups dancing in front of this display, couples holding each other, swaying to the music, and their shadows reflect in the light this light in the darkness that brings joy and celebration. This month is dark, but it draws us to light. We seek these light shows, take walks and drives to see Christmas lights on houses. We linger at our tree that is in the corner of our living room. And as light enters, we, drawn, we are drawn forward to Christmas. We will pass winter solstice, the longest night. It is just moments later we're going to remember that story we know so well, that it was in the night the angels came to the shepherds in their field watching their sheep. And in that dark, cold night, they told of a child born that would be light of the world, a child that will become a man who would know what winter solstice feels like, the tenderness, feeling the same longing, wanting, grieving, desire for security. And that same man is our light in the darkness, our Savior that brings light into our longest nights. This child that becomes a man who is our Savior is the light that cannot be overcome. This night and all the nights to come, from summer solstice to winter solstice, again and again and again. Amen. Shed his blood, that 
that we might savor thee. Sing holy, holy, holy to our Lord, the Lord Almighty God, who was and is and is to Let us pray as we leave this evening. Creator of stars that illuminate the sky, bless the long hours of this night with the warmth of your presence. Grant all who suffer in any way, grant rest to the weary, freedom to those who are burdened, and bright hope to those who despair. Strengthen us as we await your coming once again through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.